Midjourney v4 tutorial how to combine reference images to create AIR 2023. Hi everyone welcome back to another video I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another great video and in this video we're going to be talking about Midjourney and its new AI art creating program. So their new version v4 has come out and we're going to be getting into great detail and I'm going to be discussing how you can basically add reference images and as the AI to make an art out of those reference images. So uh, we're going to be discussing it all. All I want you to do is hear me out properly till the end of this video. And if you do that, then I guarantee you that you're going to properly know how to create AI art using Midjourney. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Midjourney. Now, once we're here in Midjourney.com, what we're going to do is we're going to get into their website. And once we're on their mainframe like this, we're going to click on join the beta. Now, once we click on join the beta, what happens is that it's going to take us to our discord so what you're going to do you can either have the discord uh, desktop application or you can just do it on the web page application totally depends on you i just recommend doing it on a desktop application because it just helps uh, much more and it runs much faster than it does on the normal. So what you're going to do, is you're going to come here and you're going to click on accept invite. Now, once you click on accept invite, what's going to happen is that you're going to land here and over here. This is obviously your discord and in your discord, you're going to land in the mid journey server like this. So this is basically the mid journey server. And obviously you can see that there are tons and tons of people here. Now know this, that without discord, you cannot run mid journey. If you want to create AI art, you need to have a discord. So this is mid journey server. This this is their announcements page. Now to start creating art, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to one of these newcomer rooms, like I'm going to go in newbies 29. And once you're here, obviously you're wondering how do you start from here? Now, first of all, let me teach you how you can actually ask it to make any type of art. So you're going to write imagine, and then it's going to open a prompt. And from now on, you can write anything you want. Like, uh, let's say Tom Cruise jumping from a plane attached with dynamite. Let's do that. Now, obviously, it's a very random request to ask an AI, and you're probably wondering that it's not going to do it, but just wait and watch. Now, it takes a few seconds. Uh, it if like the server is crowded, it might take a few minutes to load, but trust me, you're going to need to want to see this. When it starts creating things for you, it just looks amazing. Like, look at this. Uh, someone wrote space ghost, idyllic, colorful 18th century tarot cards or a portable power station banner. And look at that. Look at how cool that looks. And that is all AI created. So this is Tom Cruise jumping from a plane attached with dynamite. And look at that. This is obviously not fully uh, rendered right now, so we're just going to wait for it to fully render and there is our message and look at that it's fully rendered and look at how cool that looks that looks amazing so now you're probably wondering how you're going to download this so this is picture one picture two picture three and picture four now according to this if you want to download picture one you're going to click on you one if two then two and accordingly now you're probably wondering what v does v is basically variations so let's say you like this fourth one and you want different variations of this fourth one so you're just going to click on v4 and what that will do it will send a command to the mid journey bot and what the mid journey bot does is then it creates variations uh, four variations of that image and what that will do is obviously it'll give you more options look at that so it took variations of that and created four of them and now we have more options so that is basically how you can create ai art normally but let's get into the main topic and that is how you can create ai art with reference images so for that what you're going to do is obviously you're going to have a reference image in your desktop so i have an image of a dog now i'm just going to show you the image real quick so it's in my downloads folder if we go here look at that this is the image of the dog look how cute so we're gonna add the ai let's let's make this dog into a horror figure okay let's let's make it into a horror so once you do that you're gonna paste this photo and upload it into the server like that then you're gonna right click on it click on copy link go on imagine once you go on imagine you're gonna paste this link space and now you're gonna start doing whatever you like with a photo like make this dog into a vampire drinking or make it into a vampire flying into the night sky 
obviously that's very complex. So we just gave it a reference image and we just told it to create this for us. We basically want a dog who is a vampire and he is flying into the night sky. So you're probably thinking that nah, surely not. It can make something like that, but just wait for it to be loaded. Till then, I'm gonna show you, look at all these great arts like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Someone said Raiden, Mortal Kombat, chalkboard, drawing. And look at that, look at how cool, graphic and detailed that is like you can create great art and people also make money off of this art like they ask the ai to make an art for them and then they make money out of it now look at that we just had our art created look at that our dog is a vampire and he is flying into the moon as you can see right here so how cool is that so those are basically the basics of how you can mainly start a whole ai journey with mid journey and how you can create great arts just by using uh different reference images so uh again i'm gonna give you a review you're gonna go right imagine and if you want to make normal art just type anything over here give it detail give it great detail if you like but that is how you create normal art but if you want to create art out of reference images click on plus click on upload file upload a file once you upload it you're gonna right click on it click on copy link again you're gonna go and imagine you're gonna paste the link of the photo and then you're gonna write whatever you want to be created. So that is basically how easy it is to do any type of AI when it comes to mid journey. So yeah, that was basically all for today. If you liked what you saw, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.